are victims of severe physical violence by an intimate partner in their lifetime. That's according to the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence. In October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. There are advocates in Montana who work year-round to help domestic violence survivors get the help that they need. And one survivor in Missoula is using her experience to help others get out of potentially dangerous situations. But since we've been open here, um about a year and a half, we've been full or nearly full. Programs manager Becky Margolis says the YWCA provides five different programs that are aimed to end domestic and sexual violence, help unhoused families, and offer programs to educate the community about youth and racial justice. In Montana, one in four women are impacted by domestic violence, but it might even be higher than that. And um, most or everyone is either directly impacted by domestic violence or probably knows somebody. Pathways program manager Lindell Mattis says thousands of survivors every year receive help from the YWCA and success starts just by walking through their doors or calling the 24 hour hotline. A lot of times women don't even know that they're experiencing domestic violence. Something just feels um, not right to them. So just calling our crisis line, speaking to an advocate, talking about their situation, and then we're really giving them the tools that they need for themselves to make the decision for themselves. Mattis has worked at the YWCA for more than six years, and she also identifies as a domestic violence survivor. And I know that for me, it was somebody that just kind of walked into my life and helped me through it one day. And so I've never forgot like how I was able to get out of my situation. So I've always wanted to give back and help other women. The YWCA provides year round resources for men, women, children and families. But one demographic is disproportionately impacted. I refer to um, survivors as she and abusers as he just because that's the majority of what we see. Um, but that doesn't mean that it can't go the other way. Mattis says Native American women represent half of the population that the shelter serves. And both advocates say there is a significant link between housing insecurity and family violence. So oftentimes domestic violence is involved in family homelessness. It's actually like one of the leading causes. The YWCA, located on 3rd Street in Missoula, offers temporary housing for women and families in addition to counseling services, support groups, and other programs. The more that people know about the resources that are available to them, the more likely they are to leave their abusive partners. Although the job can be intense, Mattis says it's the women that keep her encouraged. I would say the emotions are all over the place. Um, I know when talking to a survivor, um, especially when their story can get pretty graphic when it comes to some of the physical violence that they've endured, um, it can be really heavy like it can it really actually like it hurts my heart to hear what has happened to them um, but at the same time I recognize like how brave they are for like reaching out for coming to us um, and how much courage it takes to even just say hey this isn't okay and, like this is what happened to me. Kira that was a really powerful story hearing from them in your reporting what was something that like really surprised you? Yeah one story that really just struck a chord with me and stayed in my head was um, one advocate told me whenever you go to the store just look and you'll see all these people around you and remember the women that you see and remember the stat the one in four stat wow. that says one in four women have been abused or are being abused or will be abused in their lifetime wow. um, or experienced domestic violence from an intimate mm -hmm. partner um, to be more specific and that was just so powerful to me because it's very common and yeah. people um, are what the advocate said people are ashamed and, and scared to go seek out resources or sometimes they don't even know that they're being um, uh, they're a victim of domestic mm. violence you know there's there's people out there that may not know someone that's going through this in their lives and they're asking why not just leave mm -hmm. like what are the big barriers keeping people from making that big step yeah, and that's one question I asked the advocates as well at YWCA, and they said that the, the, there are different reasons. Some mm. people just believe that their partner will change, and some people think um, 
well, I don't know where my next meal is going to come from or where my resources okay. are going to come from. Where's my house going to come from? And um, that's where YWCA steps in and to play and offers that resource for people in the community. Well, thank you so much for your reporting and thank you for the people sharing their stories with you for sure. Absolutely. We have more stories coming up on Montana this morning after this break.